Hello world, this is What's Up 2090, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can pretty easily convert programming source code from one programming language to another. This is very easy to do and does not require any additional software. All I have to do is just go to a website that will do it for you. The link to this website will be in the description and it is called verycode.net. So you can either start right away in which with which you can have a maximum of 500 characters of source code or you can create a free account which which I believe you will have unlimited source code that you can convert. However, if you do the start right option, you, it will only let you convert 512 characters at one time. I'm going to do that just to show you how the website works. And this here is a small part of source code of a program I've been working on written in C sharp. I'm going to copy and paste it in. And it will automatically guess what a uh, programming, la programming language it is. But if it gets it wrong, you can select it from this menu up here. P.S. You can also convert C++ and Java, but those features aren't there in this video because the website is currently working, working on them. But you can convert C++ and Java as well. So once you once that that is, once you've pasted it and gotten the uh, programming language source code correct, paste it on the left side, by the way. And then what you're going to want to do after you've done that and selected the uh, programming language, just click the convert button. Well, actually, what you want to do is uh, select what programming language you want to convert to on the left, on the right side. And then once you've done that, just click convert. Like I clicked Python and give it a minute to convert, which it might take a minute to do if, if you're converting a lot of source code. And just wait for it to finish. It can take a minute if you're... And there you go. It is basically taking my C sharp source code and giving me an at least rough translation of what that source code would look like if it had been written in Java. I mean Python. Sorry. So that's about it for this video. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 2190. Have a nice day, and I will see you next video.